Hello again. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a do today list. Now a do today list is not actually a feature of OmniFocus. It's something that you'll have to create using um, the perspectives function and the um, some sorting uh, using the view bar. Um, now the purpose of a do today list, and I don't know that I've ever actually seen anyone talk about this before, but one of the problems, and there were there have been many over the years, at least in my experience, with getting things done, is that when you're working with context, I, I mean, if you look through my context list here, I've got possibly, I don't know, maybe, maybe like 50 to 100 actions in here at any given time. Um, in assorted contexts, and while that's great, you know, you go through and you say, okay, I'm working in this context now, let me do this thing, um, what I like to do is break that list down even further into things that I know that I'm definitely going to do today or that I want to do today, and that way I actually can get my list, my daily list, to zero. Now, no other application that I've used so far has actually allowed you to do anything, you know, like this in the way that you're able to here. Um, and that's actually the reason that I went ahead and bought the app finally um, after alpha test or beta testing or alpha testing or whatever it was for, you know, I think almost a year. Um, no, not a year, like six months. Anyway. Um, so anyway, let me show you how to, uh, how I use this list. Um, do a little expose there. So here's the list here. Um, this is the do today list. And the way this works is everything in this fairly short list are things that I'm going to at least try to do today. And everything that's not on the list are things that are sort of secondary or, or not even, they're things that I might not even consider at all um, for today, um, unless I get this thing done way faster than I thought that I was going to. So to make this, um, or to actually add things to the list, what I do is in the morning, um, I look at my context or my projects. It's really up to you how you feel like working. But let's say you look at your context, and I go through all of my context um, one by one. And this is sort of the reason I, I actually will use projects. Um, so I'm going to take a look at projects over to the library. And here are all my projects. And what I'll do is I'll look at this and say, OK, um, empathy website, prep for meeting. This is something that I know is due tomorrow. Um, yeah, due on the 8th. It's in red, as you can see. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll flag that. And once I flag the thing, it appears in my um, due today list. And I go through all of my projects every day, um, with the exception of a few. Um, and I'll say, OK, do I need to work on this today? Is this something that is either due tomorrow or you know, been putting it off and today is the day that I'm going to work on it or I'm just in the mood to work on this particular thing. Um, and so I flag all of the things that I want to work on today. And then I jump over to my do today list and look at what I've created. Um, and of course, if I want to remove something from this list, all I have to do is, is deflag it. Um, so how do you create this list? Um, first of all, let me close this up here. First of all, what you're going to want to do is create a set of default perspectives. That way, um, once you've changed all of the things you need to to essentially create this list, um, you don't. Um, it's not a pain to get back to the way that you normally like working. So first, what you're going to do is go to projects. Uh, actually, you really don't need to do projects right now because I'm only going to be affecting contexts. So go over to contexts and set up your context list the way that you like having it set up. Um, open up the view panel um, and set all of these things how you like them. This is the way that I personally prefer them to be set up. Um, I like things that are due today to be at the top of my list. Uh, you know, that's sort of, I like projects to be sorted together. Um, and so this is the way that I usually have my, um, sorry. This is the way I usually have it set up. So set everything up the way you want, then hide this little view bar. You can even hide the toolbar if you don't plan on ever using it in here. Um, you can go to the view panel, uh, view menu, and show and hide certain columns that you may or may not want to see. Even um, arrange the the width of these columns by you know dragging them around. In order to do that, you have to have the view panel showing. Um, hide it, and then you're going to go to perspectives, show perspectives. 
and create a new perspective by clicking this little plus button here. And I'm just going to call this um, context demo. And that should basically be it. Now, if I make all kinds of weird changes to this, let's say I you know, set it to here and set my sorting all wacky, I no longer have to then go back in and set everything back to the way that I remember it being. I can just go to perspectives and choose context demo and it sets the way that um, I normally like working. That's kind of important here because what I'm about to do is mess this whole thing up in a pretty major way to create a new perspective for your do today list. And that way you can easily jump back. So once you've created this perspective, you can then you know, start messing it up again. The first thing you're going to do is 